uh, just a little update here. Um, previously, I talked about how I was um, uh, I created an extra macro to dynamically expand out on the mind map, and uh, basically, I'll click on a word, and once I run, say, Control Z, the macro would run and it would search through the data pairs and ex and pull them out. Now, as you can see here, there's a little bit of problem. Uh, there's a duplication occurring here. So if this is the um, primary branch and the secondary branch is here, it uh, reproduced the primary branch down below the secondary branch. And um, I wanted to remove that because it's kind of redundancy. I don't want to have that duplication occurring. Um, so um, I've just edited that macro and I'll just pull that up now. Uh, what I've done is I've got here just after application run to update data which pulls out the paired datas I've got find prior branch word to ensure no double up so I've set initially set row primary branch word column primary branch word as one row back and two columns back so basically if I control Z here this is the active cell so one uh, now this code actually advances that value by one and advances the column value by one so it sets it to here so if I pull it back by two on the column it puts it to here and rows by one puts it back to here so basically this command here sets uh, these two values to equal the this cell value here if I run control Z on this cell here those two values go to this here the uh, X and Y or the row and columns now uh, basically below that I've got a while loop and basically what it does is says, while the value in that cell equals blank keep advancing up the row so reduce that row primary branch word value by one until it finally finds a value so basically it marches up this these rows until it hits this value here and this is the primary branch word um, and once it's found that it, it uh, exits from that loop and it says prior branch word or primary branch word equals worksheet sheet B uh, cells row primary branch word column primary branch word alright so it sets that value now to this loop here where it pulls out that paired data so if I go back here where it's run the macro so if I run that macro now say for example uh, this value here if I do control Z okay now that this data here that was pulled up from running this application here okay so this loop starts copying that data and pasting it into that spreadsheet so basically it's copying this data and it's pasting it uh, down below here now as it does this copy and paste every single time it's checking to make sure that these values are not the same as this value, uh, this value up here, so there's no du duplication. Now you can see that that value is in the initial search. It's here. So as soon as it finds that value, basically it it um, skips over this copy and paste paste phase, and uh, doesn't increase this row value, but it increases this row value here to go to the next value. So if I show you here, if this value does not equal the prior branch word then go ahead insert a row and then paste that value into the spreadsheet then increase the row index for that sheet for this sheet and then once you exit from that loop you can also increase this value so the reason why this line here is outside this if loop is that if it does equal the same I don't want to um, increase the row value on this spreadsheet otherwise it will introduce gaps such as what's occurred up here these have occurred because I didn't write that correctly before um, and that's it